to see you. I'm running for president. How are you doing? Good to see you. We're here at the Iowa State Fair just hours before the Republican presidential debate tonight in Ames. Mitt Romney got an early taste of what he may face tonight when a voter confronted him quite angrily about the future of the Social Security program. What are you going to do to strengthen Social Security, Medicare and Medicaid without cutting benefits? All right, let's, see, let's get his answer. What's let's get his answer. answer. Okay, let's. All right, you've had your chance. Anything else you want to say? Well, I'm going to see what you're going to say. Well, okay. The way this is going to work, the way this is going to work is that you get to answer your question, I get to give my answer. All right. We saw something from Governor Romney that we haven't seen very often, a fire in his voice. I'm not going to raise taxes. That's my answer. So I'm not going to raise taxes. It was an authentic side that Governor Romney has not showed too often, as he's been protected over the summer, purposely keeping a low-profile campaign. All that is about to change. The eight candidates on stage tonight at the debate on Fox News and Ames are each trying to accomplish something different. All eyes are on Tim Pawlenty. He has 48 hours left in his candidacy before the Iowa straw poll to convince people that he has the strength and the ideas to uh, win them over. Two months ago, he went after Mitt Romney. Tonight, his focus is Michelle Bachman. Michelle Bachman, who's been riding high here over the last two months, also has something to prove. She is trying to show that she can translate the energy and enthusiasm into looking like a president, into a bit of electability. Others on the stage tonight also are trying to get their shots in. You have John Huntsman making his first appearance, Newt Gingrich, Rick Santorum, and even Herman Cain. But all eyes will be on Mitt Romney. He is the front runner, the leader of the pack, who's trying to stay that way. Soon he'll be joined by others. Rick Perry is visiting the state on Sunday, and Sarah Palin is coming to the Iowa State Fair on Friday. By the end of the week, we'll have a slightly better idea of what this Republican field may look like. I appreciate the chance to be with you. We got a few folks up front who got here early to make sure that they could make their voice heard. My guess is they won't be voting for me. That's fine. We have a lot of people running for office. They won't be voting for any of the Republicans. They can vote for President Obama. But you guys are going to be voting for the next president of the United States, a person who believes in America, a person who will balance our budget, a person who will not raise taxes, and I am that person. Thanks.